Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy P, also known as Captain P67 from Twitch. I'm back at it with a special, special, special video for you today. It is kind of an update, but it's actually its own video in, in its own right. It's actually the super OP Godlands build video for you today. So, what I will be showing is the most OP, best, strongest, maximum, greatest. Lance build of all time on Iceborne right now. Um, the reason for that is, I'll just show you the stats real quick. The last build I showed you is a crazy god build, and it's one of the better builds that I've, I've seen on, online already, um, especially for maximum offense, maximum defense. But if you check this one out right now, you'll see exactly what we've got. I've got attack boost level 7, so fully max attack, you can't get any more, and this is just base. Maximum crits, guard 5, crit boost 3, weakness exploit 3. Blast attack 2 on a blast lance, offensive guard 2 on top, heat guard, resuscitate, quick sheath, mind's eye, and guard up. It is literally ridiculous. And we got razor sharp and spare shot obviously built in because it is the specific lance I'm using. So I mean I've looked online, I've looked online, even my my previous lance video is on like what nearly 500 views now. It's a lot of views um, in a in a couple of days. Especially uh, since it's my first god build video on ever for monster hunter iceborne and i've kind of adapted this a little bit more and the build i've got for you today is kind of perfect because it actually works with any lance in the whole game so you can literally change to any lance you want you'll probably tweak one piece and you can get the same results for every build i've done so you'll always get maximum attack maximum crit maximum guard magnum maximum crit like a chance and maximum crit boost as well pretty much and offensive guard too uh, you can even change it one more. You can even change. We can even get offensive guard maximum three if we want to. But what's so specific about this build is I do cover Mind's Eye a lot, and the reason for that is there are certain ones like Rune no Gigante, which I've actually done a speed run on, on my very first try, um, just a quick kind of battle, just to see how good the lance was. I did ten minutes oh five, and I'll be uploading the video for you, and I'll be posting a link in this video for you as well, so you can actually watch that fight. I didn't use any kind of war flinches, anything like that. Literally just straight lance, like poke, poke, dodge, poke, you know, shield, bash, KO. Just, we absolutely destroyed him. We even only got to blue sharpness as well, which blue sharpness is still doing decent numbers. Blast box is still kicking in. We're doing a lot of damage. And um, that's an ultimate god build for you. So when you have maximum offense, maximum defense in one, and a few others in there, like, I mean, quick sheath we include as well, and heat guard on top. So you got a lot of bonuses included. So you're fighting. Anything with like obviously heat damage, you can kind of negate it a little bit, kind of help you a little bit in that department, as well as two blast attack on top. Uh, but without further ado, I'll go into the build for you um, and just go for it with you. But with this build, we are going to be using the uh, Soulfire Spike Sticks, which is the upgraded Lanastra Zenajiva Lance, which I used a heck of a lot in the last one. It's absolutely amazing blast lance, uh, many good perks on it. And um, when you have the stats, this is what you come up with 658 attack. Sharpness is white, with obviously that spare shot included, also known as razor sharp. And we got 55 affinity, base affinity, 55%, which is a heck of a lot. We got element of blast 370, we got a defense 863. I've added a health regen augment in there. I could add, I could add more blast in there if I wanted to, or another more defense if I wanted to as well. But I wanted to kind of show you the build without too much added to it i want to show you how powerful the base is of it so again it's just got a health regen and that's it so i could add more uh, more points to it if i wanted to but it's just literally a health regen so you can modify it as much as you want it for your own kind of build but without further ado we'll cover everything we've added so the soul fire spike sticks what well, it also comes with two gem slots big gem slots uh three i'll just call them four three two and one and you can obviously work them out this comes with two say large gem slots which are three ones so you can only add handicraft or whatever you want to add in there what I've put in mind for you is a crit eye and attack boost. I've also used a full gore helm beta, which comes with weakness exploit. I've added sheath attack jewel 4, attack boost 1, and a critical boost gem in there for you. I've used the Rex raw male beta. It comes with two attack boost, one weakness exploit, two gem slots, a four gem slot, and a one gem slot. I've added expert jewel 4. I've added attack jewel boost 1. And for the second part or third part, I've added Kaiser Van Brace's beta. It comes with weakness exploit and heat guide included. And that gives I've added Guardian Attack Jewel 4, Attack Boost 1, and a critical boost 2. 
I've used the Kaiser Coil Beta, which gives you two blast attack included, gives you three gem slots, it gives you a level four, a level two, and a level one. And I've added Guardian Expert Jewel 4, which gives offensive guarding critical eye. I've added Mind's Eye Jewel, so we won't be bouncing enough. Any enemies, like I said, any kind of any kind of a monster you're fighting, even when I got to green sharpness, I was not bouncing enough. So that's definitely a bonus. Like even if you think you're losing sharpness, you will not be deflected. Um, I've used it up to green sharpness. I haven't even, even gone past that because this lance has so much good sharpness. I haven't gone past green yet, uh, personally, for any fight. And I've used it a lot. I used it a lot in the World as well version. But every time you get into a situation, you can always just use that whetstone and just get that quick sharpen. I've even sharpened four times in the Nergigante fight just to kind of show you. And that's kind of like speedrun. It's more of just a, a test of the build itself on my first try. Expert Jewel 1 is included as well that I've put in there. And I finally use a Garuga Grease Beta, which gives you two Critical Eye, one four gem slot, and two two gem slots in there as well. So I've added a Crisis Attack Jewel 4 for a Resuscitate Attack Boost. I've added Shield Jewel 2 for a Guard Up, and I've added a Crit Boost 2 in there for you. Now, one thing I've kind of upgraded from last time, I've actually got my Iron Side Charm to level 5. So that's definitely going to make a big difference for you, especially how you can tweak the build. So I would definitely say as, as quick as you can, if you're a Lance user or Gun Lance user, if you want to make your builds more optimal, even on the charge blade when I did my build for that as well, I did show you that you can block a lot of attacks at level 4. But now I've got Ironside Charm 5, you can literally add this to a lot of your builds. So any weapons that can kind of block, you can add this on and it's definitely going to make a big difference. So I definitely recommend 100% adding this to your build as soon as you can. It's definitely going to make a big difference to you. Now we'll just quickly go into the training options, just to show you the kind of damage it does. The, bl the blast procs are amazing as well, um, especially with that blast 2 included. Um, typically, I mean, the lance is not known for making a lot of procs to go up, but if you actually use a lance with blast, you'll see a bit of damage. The Yesterday I was farming Zenajiva, and um, I u actually used a different lance, which I'll show you another build as well. So originally when I made the first video, I used the Rune Expedition, which was a Nergante lance, which is one of the best lances in the whole game. It's the fact that it's got very, 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 very high white sharpness. And it's got a lot of raw damage. Um, it's absolutely incredible. But even that against Nogante, the sharpness did go. And I did have to sharpen a certain amount. This kind of outdid it, i got to say. and still did high numbers. But this actually hit Xenogir in the head and broke the horns after about two hits. Once the blast prop kicked in. But, I mean, a regular poke, you can just see 85, 85. 85, 60. So, 85 for a normal hit. 85 for a normal hit, and I'll see if we go to crits, then we're good. So you'll get 93, 93, 93, and 114. Uh, what's up, Calpix? How you doing today? Are you good? Welcome to the stream. I'm just doing a quick guide builds video for YouTube right now, but we can farm some stuff if you need to farm for anything. Just uh, drop a quick file on the channel, and I'll get this done. So as you can see, like the numbers are ridiculous. Um, again, 85, 85 on a regular poke, 114 on a crit, on a triangle, triangle, triangle. And then we've got 93, 93, and 114. So the Lance has quick sheath as well, which will definitely help you out in the long run. Um, so there you can see, a lot of damage, a lot of offense, a lot of defense. 211 on a charge attack too. So again, 211 on the crit. And that's the build for you. So again, I've added attack boost level 7, crit eye level 7, guard 5, crit boost 3, weakness exploit 3, blast attack 2, offensive guard 2, heat guard, resuscitate, quick sheath, mind's eye, and guard up. And like I said, this is truly the most ultimate lance build you'll see. It's, it's the highest you can get. There isn't actually anything we can get it to do higher offense at the moment. Unless we change mind's eye for offensive guard, we can actually add one more offensive guard in there if we want to. Because we've got a slap free. But literally it is the strongest build. The most OP build you'll ever see for the Lance right now. There is nothing else we can change around. So this has got max this has got max stats all around. And there's nothing you can do to change around it. But it does cover everything for you. So again, thank you for checking out my first Lance God build video. We've got 500 views plus on that already in a couple of days. Which is great. And that's actually my first God build video. So this was the kind of like brand new. Uh, we've got a brand new thumbnail for it as well. So make sure you check this build out. If you've got any questions let me know. Uh, make sure you follow my Twitch channel, CaptainP67. Make sure you support me in my content. The sub and donation links will be in the description below. But this does cover the lance. I have got other God Build videos done. So I've got Great Sword, Charge Blade, Switch Axe, Sword and Shield, Light Bow Gun, Heavy Bow Gun, The Bow. 
I know they're, they're getting a lot of views too. But I will be making part twos and sequels to those God Build videos. As obviously newer things come out, we've got Rajan coming up shortly. And newer things I'll be going to be coming out with like armor sets and newer stuff to get. I will be making updated versions of all my builds. But like I said, this is the truly most OP build you'll ever see for the Lance right now. So make sure you like the channel. Make sure you support my content. If you have any questions, let me know. Join my streams for what I do. But apart from that, I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, have a good day and I'll see you later. Peace out.